the old frog and toad. It's a St. George's Day special video. I'll see you inside. Hey guys, Mike here from Old Man Things, and welcome to the old Frog and Toad Pub Shed. Happy St. George's Day. I'm smoking, um, which I have said before, I consider this one my the crown, sorry, the jewel and my crown. <laughs> I always say it wrong, even though I know I'm going to say it wrong, so I try not to say it wrong. But I always say it wrong. Anyways, it's the jewel and my crown. And it's my Komoi's um, blue blue ribbon. Ribbon? Ribbon? I don't know how you say it. So, and I've got some Fisherman's Dottle in there. And I'm using, for St. George's Day, I thought I'd use this one. It's my Canterbury Cathedral. Yeah, look at that. And that knee is an old, old thing. Turn of the century, that one is. And I'm using my lighter with old Queen Victoria. So let me light it. Now you guys have a pipe. And it's not already lit. Lit it, light it with me. If I can get it to light. So if you don't know what St. George's Day is, St. George's Day is um, the day for England, like St. Patrick's Day is for Ireland. And St. George is a patron saint to England. I just filled this up last night, April 23rd, every year. And I thought, although I'm working and I'm on a break, but I thought, <laughs> what better to have on St. George's Day? And what's more English than a cup of tea? A good cup of um, English tea. So, cheers, everyone. In an English mug, made in England. Got my English flat cap. So I thought I'd re I thought I'd read to you about Saint George. So the legend of Saint George is, is that he came in and he slayed the dragon, freeing um I've heard it both village and for freeing all of England. And I shall read to you the myth if I can hold it without dropping it. Okay, so it says, legend has it where George, where George arrived upon a village where a dragon was terrorizing the local people. Each day they would sacrifice, they would give the dragon a sheep to keep the dragon from destroying the village. Once they ran out of sheep, the king said, sacrifice children. So there was a lottery of which child would go finally one day the lottery happened to be the king's daughter and as the king's daughter was walking up to the dragon um george drove by in his horse and saw what was going on and offered and told the king that he would um try to kill the dragon so as he was attacking the dragon he saw 
So during the battle with the dragon, George noticed a vulnerable patch of skin under the, its arm and charged forward with the sword, slaying the beast. The villagers held a huge feast in his honor, and the feast day of St. George is celebrated each year in tribute to his bravery. So, the English flag, which you saw at the beginning of this, is the St. George Cross. Now the Union Jack has the St. George Cross in the middle and then the St. Andrew's Cross in the back. So, but the St. George Cross is the English, so it's the white background and the red cross. And that's the flag of England. So, one of my favorite authors is is Kipling, and I have there's a really neat poem that I like that he wrote, and um, I'm gonna have one of my favorite English it was I'd say my all time favorite English actor read it next, and then I'll come back with. Just a quick slideshow of um, just a few great Englishmen and women um, just to end off the video. So enjoy Michael Caine. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Michael Caine. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowances for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet don't look too good nor look too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can hear the truth you've spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life for broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at the beginning and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are done and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 40 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's always a fun one. Um, and then I shall I shall leave you with. There will always be in England. Cheers, everyone. Happy St. George's Day. Toodle pip.
ladies and gentlemen, I give you a toast, ladies and gentlemen. May this fair land we love so well in dignity and freedom dwell. The worlds may change and go awry while there is still one voice to cry. There'll always be an England while there's a country lane. Wherever there's a cottage small, Beside a field of grain There'll always be an England While there's a busy street Wherever there's a turning wheel A million marching feet Red, white and blue What does it mean to you? Surely your proud shouted aloud, Britain's awake. The empire too, we can depend on you. Freedom remains, these are the chains, nothing can break. There'll always be an England, and England shall be free. If England means as much to you, as England means to me.